Okay guys, so uh, my name is Tanish and I'm from Isaac in Mumbai and today we are going to talk to a very special person. So one of my very close friends, Sidel Menon, went on a six week exchange to Ukraine with us with Isaac and uh, over the course of uh, six weeks she volunteered with a school, she, she taught uh, school kids English and that was a project she worked on. But today we are going to talk to her father and about his experience of how his daughter went on exchange. So come let's meet uh, Sidel's father. Hello. I'm Siddharth, Siddharth's father. So, uh, I just wanted to talk to you about how her entire experience has been. But uh, initially, uh, when Siddharth came to you and told you that you're going to go on a, that she's going to go on a six week long exchange to Ukraine uh, and uh, she's going to be volunteering there and teaching kids with people from all over the world. What was the initial uh, reaction from your side? How did she convince you for that? And what were your thoughts on this whole project? I was a little apprehensive when she approached me because she was going for the first time abroad all alone. Although in India she had travelled one or two places. But then I also thought to myself as a parent, I should give her some free space. Because although all along I cannot be protective. Because we have to at one stage leave our children. So I decided, took a decision to allow her to go to Ukraine. On right. Her. And uh, like six weeks is not a small time, right? I mean, uh, even I've been on exchange, I've, I've been to Egypt on exchange, so I know how the whole experience is that you don't get to see anyone you know before going there. And when you're in that flight, you really miss your family because you're not going to see them for the next six weeks. So uh, when she landed in uh, Ukraine and had a few experiences in the first two weeks, uh, when you had your conversation with her, how did you feel? Uh, what was what were the sort of conversations you had with her once she had spent about a good three weeks in Ukraine? Initially, when she left, I, although it was a new place for me, I never travelled abroad to Ukraine side. But then I could not establish contact with her for a day. I was a little worried. Once she established contact, and then I was in touch with her. Although she was very busy, with colleagues also there. Her colleagues, I talked, got her number, spoke to them. And I should say that they were very, very, very uh, cooperative in mean, fact, uh, the where she was staying. And uh, of course, I thought that my decision was right in sending her because she was a uh, very uh, the flight which I had something going to unknown place. My daughter, yes, it got removed, and I knew that she was going to gain a lot of experience. Crazy. Uh, yeah, I know that feeling is really, really special when you are uh, working abroad for a project. And uh, once she came back after her entire experience and I mean we, in ISEC we always talk about leadership development and the sort of qualities you gain through an exchange but uh, as a parent you've seen her very closely right and what were the sort of experiences you felt when she came back uh, did you see any specific changes in her personality uh, anything I mean of course you do get independent when you live alone abroad and uh, with some really uh, with, with foreigners there but what are the sort of changes you saw in her? Yes, I changes, uh, a lot of changes I should see earlier, she was a very shy person, but then now she started taking independent decisions, very confident, mentally, I think she very strong she became, and now I came to know that, okay, okay, anywhere I can just be confident, I can leave her with any work, she can do it. In fact, I was very happy, people started asking me, how did you allow people, were you not frightened when you send a girl of this age alone to a foreign place, but when they she came back, they were all... Rejoice and excited, more excited because she learned a lot of things. Right. Yeah, it's actually very interesting that way. Uh, so, is there any one message you would like to tell people? Because uh, there are a lot of parents who we feel don't really allow their child to go on exchange. Uh, their usual reaction is like, yahi kar lo internship. But there is actually a very big advantage of doing an international uh, uh, internship. Uh, so, any one message you would like to give uh, the parents of students who really want to go on exchange but are not being allowed by their parents? Yes, at a, up to a certain age we can be protective, say, we can say up to the standard of 12, but after that you should give them space. That is my personal view, space in the sense you should give them freedom. And it is not like earlier times we have all kinds of to track them, we have all communications, we have all infrastructure, we can track them, what they are doing, what they are not doing. After all, it is our own child one day they are going to leave us and go but then we should not leave leave them at a stage without being prepared so that is my this thing is that whatever experience you can give them whatever they can learn 
you can teach them, but the, what they learn on their own, which my daughter did by going to Ukraine, was cannot be taught in classrooms. It has to be only outside. You can learn from others, not in the classroom. So, this is the uh, to the parents who are little apprehensive of sending their students or sons or children to abroad for exchange program. My only this thing is advice is that don't be too much protective. Give them space. Allow them to explore the world. That's All right. Thank you so much, Uncle. Nice okay. meeting you. So. That's the thing. I mean, uh, we will be covering and uh, talking to more parents that way and asking them about their experiences of sending their word abroad to various countries, maybe Ukraine, Egypt, Vietnam, and so on. Uh, that's it for now. And uh, thank you so much, guys. Thank you so much for watching.